Okay, so I didn't mean to hit the end button, but um, I'm gonna, here's my starter from this morning. It's bubbly, it smells good. It's like, um, I don't know, it actually has a little sweetness to it because the rye. Um, and so here I have my recipe for biscuits. It's in my little plastic, um, um, you know, three by five protector because I've been using this. You can tell by the handwriting literally since I was like eight years old. It's my favorite recipe ever for biscuits. It won't really um, focus for me, but I don't know. Two cups of flour, two teaspoons baking powder salt. Um, I don't use Crisco, but um, I have like a organic shortening and some milk. So um it's a really versatile recipe you can add anything you want if you want nuts or seeds or you can do um like cinnamon sugar ones or uh you can do um i've been doing yogurt or um what's it called you know sour milk like buttermilk and i think it just makes them a little more fluffy and they're just so tasty so what i'm gonna do is because there's some flour already in the starter i'm gonna do one cup of starter and that's gonna account for since my starter is half flour and half water it's gonna account for a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of flour so then i'll just add one and a half cups of flour to the starter and um what is it a quarter i'm gonna do yogurt because we don't have milk but it's it's gonna give it a really good texture anyways so how you would usually do biscuits is mix the dry cut in the Crisco and then add the milk and bake them and since um I don't want to do the long fermenting with the shortening in it I tried this before and it actually was a total experiment but it worked out I'm going to mix the starter with the salt and and the flour and the milk and then I'm going to let it sit out on the counter all night. And in the morning, I will add the baking powder and the shortening. And so my shortening is relatively soft. And it will work really easily, actually, if I just mix it up with my hands. And then I can shape it. might have to add a little more flour because it is sticky. But um, I can shape it into the biscuits, put it on a baking tray, pop one in the oven and then like chop up some bananas or apples or something to go with it. Um, we got to leave the house early tomorrow morning. So I wanted something kind of portable if we were, um, if we started to get running late. So I am going to mix this together. There's a shot of the starter, nice and bubbly. It smells really good. Actually does smell like feet or anything gross. <laughs> so, um, I will probably t snap a picture of it in the morning to show you how the um, the flour and the milk kind of um, rises while it's sitting around on the counter. It basically is going to look like this jar starter. But happy Tuesday night, everybody, and I hope you're planning something yummy for breakfast. Bye.